All right, welcome back guys. I wanna go over Tester's enamel paint. So I wanna show you the quality that uh, we're working with. And here's a Model Master, which is the same as Tester's, the exact same company. Uh, it says right here, you know, Tester's Corp, Rockford, Illinois. So, uh, yeah, don't be uh, discouraged by using these. I still use these and uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna use them on this car today. What I'm gonna do is I took off all the paint on the uh, trim there. Uh, we're gonna just be painting that by uh, freehand. I'll probably use a different br brush here and uh, let's get at it. If you don't like shaking, I don't like using toothpicks. I like using, uh, I just cut sprues off your, your and you get a nice straight here. Uh, I use those for stirring. If you use toothpicks, I got plenty on hand or anything with wood, you got the chance of having fibers in there. What I do is I use business cards. I just uh, plop them over like that. And, uh, and what I wanna do is I wanna feel in the bottom with a stir stick. Now see when you pull out your stir stick, there's no clumps or anything. And when you feel in the bottom, there's also no clumps. That means uh, your paint's ready to go. Uh, grab a little bit like that and uh, start painting. So we're gonna just do all this freehand. And uh, I'm gonna be doing the window trim again after on the actual window. This is just to kind of hide some of the paint, but I wanna show you guys how easy it does go on if you take your time and uh, you know, if you work kind of quick. Don't go over your thing or your brush strokes too many times. A little bit of scrapings there. So again, you can see how easy it is. Just take your time. Don't let the brush go where you don't want it. You have full control. Remember when you're working with enamels, they don't need a primer like an acrylic would, but they too, do take longer to dry and them being thinner if you don't take too many brush strokes at it you won't even see them just because it self levels so you can see that that's freehand so let's just touch up a little bit of this and again this is straight out of the bottle guys and uh, sometimes when you're painting over red or yellows you may have to give it two coats but as you can see there most of it was taken care of if I didn't have uh, confidence in this paint I wouldn't be uh, freehanding it as I am right now I mean this model turned out okay it's been through a rough patch it's gone through uh, a couple paint jobs and multiple decals and waiting for decals and blah 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 so this is a uh, tester's center and uh, it's eight fluid ounces, half a pint, 236 milliliters. This is also paint thinner, and it's 946 mil. So we'll say it's about three times, four times as much, at least four times, all right? And these are the same price, but I keep them in uh, jars like this, so I'm not always handling these around. With enamels and testers, you have to use a paint thinner or a lacquer thinner to clean your brush afterwards. Here, so what I'm gonna do is get some thinner into there. So I'll grab some thinner. And so what I did is grabbed a little piece of uh, styrene there and a little bit of, so you can just revive the paint a little bit there. There's a little bit of liquid there. So that's how I did that. You can see even on this styrene piece here, how I shaved it. And I used that to, uh, you know, if a toothpick's too thin to uh, hold your rims, you can uh, make your own pieces out of styrene or your sprues. So let's quickly finish this before it dries again. And uh, so that's basically how you can use it out of the bottle. You can revive it, which I don't always suggest. But for where I'm painting, it's not a huge deal right now. Um, this is going to be covered. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I think the, yeah, I did. But the windows will be going over this. And I will be painting the trim also. I won't be doing that freehand. Um, 
I, I prefer to paint my car bodies. So when my, uh, if I'm building a race car or a car where I want the finish to be optimal, I prefer testers enamel. You gotta have patience when you're building these things because you know, the model could sit in uh, your basement for 20, 30 years or five years and then you try to finish it in a weekend. What's the point? Take your time. Let the model sit there for a week in between steps and that's the best way to do it. Don't try to do everything in an evening. You know, this particular model's from 1994, so nobody's touched it. All right, so let's paint this wing here. And then, uh, again, I'm just gonna do this freehand. Why not? No sense in masking all this right now. Just quickly lay some paint on there and get it done. All right, a little close to the edge. Don't have to go right to the edge and risk anything. Try to do it all in one coat, one pass, guys, and girls. Get that one lip there. Then we don't have to deal with that. Lip. All right. Now we're going to turn it over and do this inside. Get this all done as quick as possible. Put so, a chrome showing there. I didn't de-chrome this before I did it. This was more of a, I initially painted this car with spray cans and the initial decals didn't turn out. The paint job turned out, not the decals. So I uh, stripped it, which is in another video. So if you ever, uh, or no, you know what, I sprayed with acrylics first. That's why I made a video of how to remove acrylic paint. And uh, if you want to learn how to move, remove acrylic paint, check out that video. Uh, this car has already been through that process and this is the results of it. So you can see it's already starting to dry. And there you go guys, you can see the wing is now painted uh, flat black with uh, the testers here and that was done by freehand and that's how it dried after one coat. And the front and back window are glued in, and those were painted with gloss black testers again. And you can see it uh, turned out pretty good. So I recommend testers paint enamel. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them uh, in the description below. Thanks, and have a good day.